All right, man. We finally got it recovered. But, I mean, so basically, when it got sipped out to Copart and Indy, they didn't crash wrap it. So, my whole inside of my car is wet. I got it recovered on January 27th, 28th. And it's just been sitting in a Copart for a whole month. It hasn't been touched. This whole up, the whole sunroof was just broke. So my key fob don't work, but they took all of this out. They was, must, they, my battery was messed up, so. They muscle was just under there going crazy with the battery. But you can see all this crap back here. Oh, Ooh, my shoe was back there still. Need them. What is this? Dang. Okay, my hoop shoe's back there. Need that. Hopefully my place though back there. But yeah. I took my whole radio out. The whole thing. If you don't know, uh Sirius XM, you know, once you take the radio out, you can't really track it. But I got an air tag, so we'll be good. Uh I'll check show y'all the other side. I know when I looked at the co part. Um, when they took pictures on Copart, it was uh, like 500 extra, 600 miles on here. But, yeah, man. Sad, sad day. I don't even, but like, still glass in there. Yeah, they took this out too. But they literally left the, the window, like the sunroof open. Though. El Copart. They took the decals off. Damn. Sad, sad day, man. This is tough, bro. I don't know where my plate at. But I'll give y'all a whole rundown once I get in there. Uh, I'll tell everybody what happened. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah, man. So, I'll keep y'all updated. We still got to get a key fob for the car. Um, yeah. So, it's not really any much I could tell y'all, but I'll give y'all a whole rundown of everything that happened. But, yeah. This is crazy. Look at all that. So I'm guessing they must have just stole it and took the whole release, neutral release thing up, rolled it down the street, turned it on. But yeah, so I'll catch y'all back. I'll tell y'all what happened in a second. We'll go from there. All right, man. So I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what happened from A to Z. So, uh, you know, I'm in the crib, I am uh, told my mom and myself, we finna go get our pedicures, right? So we finna go get pedicures, bam. Well, I'ma go pick them up, we're gonna get pedicures. Then, mm, get in the shower, all that. So I go outside and the car is gone. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm pissed right now. So I'm pissed. And then uh, I look at my phone, I got a tractor on it obviously um got a tracker on it and uh, uh i looked at it and it was in on the interstate i'm like are you serious right now are you serious right now so it was on the interstate i'm like what the hell so i called the police out here where i was at called them uh Man, it's like they're traveling through like West Lafayette. They're going like towards Indy. They're Indianapolis. 
and uh, I'm calling police out there, trying to get them to get it, whatever. They stopped at some gas station. I'm like, go there, go there, go there. They ended up not getting there. They gone. They took my decals off on both sides. Um, they took the little small decals off. So then uh, it went out to Seymour, Indiana. You know, it's like three hours and 30 minutes away from uh, where I'm at. And uh, so I had a tracker on it. So stolen that Saturday at like one o'clock. It got there at like eight or nine at night. So I'm like, okay, well, let's go. Like, call the police Seymour. Let's get it. Like, you know, go there. Get my car, <laughs> you know? So then they said the judge didn't give them, like, they didn't get the granted wish, whatever, the warrant. So they couldn't get it that night. So I'm like, damn, cool. So um, Sunday come, and they said it was going to get off to the detectives or whatever. So... The detectives don't work on Sunday, I guess. So they didn't do nothing Sunday. So I guess you can go out and steal a car on Saturday and they're not gonna do nothing Sunday. So <laughs> I guess that's just how it worked. But um, they didn't do nothing Sunday. So then Monday they got a wish, the grant, the warrant, granted, whatever. And uh, you know, after that, they, uh, they went in there, there was a chop shop. They said it was other cars in there. I don't know because I'm I keep hearing different stuff from different departments and uh, so I, they said it was different cars in there that it was stolen too. Uh, they didn't really do nothing. They broke my sunroof. They took out some panels on the on the passenger side. Um, they took the whole entire stereo out and uh, yeah, so it got stolen on the 25th or 26th, whatever, and then found it two days later so on the 27th 28th got it found and then uh it got delivered to copart because i guess they said in uh in seymour the police they said it was hollowed out so that means i guess this it, they did not chop the whole car up but in reality it wasn't chopped so it was a copart the adjuster uh they was adjusting the car for two weeks so i'm like okay cool so then they said it was probably like uh valentine's day february 14th they was like okay well your car is ready like we can get a tow bam so i'm like all right cool but this whole time it's been sitting at copart the sun the sunroof is still open i've seen the pictures the sunroof still open so i'm like okay well why didn't they do that but that's besides the fact so then they say um she said, yeah, it's ready to get towed. So I'm like, all right, cool. So she said, uh, the towing company doesn't take it all the way out to where I got it delivered up. So I'm like, huh? So I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'm just not her worker at Magic. So I'll leave, I'll leave her alone for the rest of that week. And then that Monday come, uh, the next week, so like the 21st. And I'm like, all right, well, let's, let's see what's going to happen. Um, I didn't do nothing that Monday. So then Tuesday, I'm pissed. I'm like, bro, like, what are y'all doing? Like, you know? So I'm like, all right, let's, I could get the dealership to go and get it. She said, oh, no. Um, we got a people to come get it. So I'm like, all right, cool. She said they'll have a deliver either that Tuesday or Wednesday. I called her on Tuesday. So I'm, I'm like, okay, it might be here today. Didn't come Tuesday. Didn't come Wednesday. So then I call her Thursday. I'm pissed. I'm like, what's going on? Like, I could just have the, the dealership come get it. And, uh, she was like, okay, this is not. It got approved from the adjuster or whoever. So then the Friday, this past Friday, uh, the dealership was able to get it, but they was doing other stuff. So they didn't get here till today. And uh, like the inside is terrible. Like water, it's probably, it's definitely water damage all throughout the whole inside of the car, at least in the front. So um, that's pretty much it right now. So. Uh, you know, I'm just waiting on it to get uh fixed and um, go from there. But um, I advise everybody to stay away from Safe Auto. You know, I took the cheaper route. I really shouldn't. I should have just stayed with Progressive. But you know, you live and you learn. So uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, we got the track hook back. So that's all that matters. It's all in one piece. 
so it's fixable so we get it fixed up and you know we're gonna be back out with this pov soon so appreciate everybody watch to the end make sure you subscribe you know uh like this video comment tell me some stuff you know and uh that's it